All right, folks. So we're looking at string operations. Trim. Now, a real world example would be uh, cleaning up user input for validation. Okay. Uh, control T, T box, set, bugger. You little bugger. And uh, let's get off to the races, okay? A good example would be phone numbers. So let's say raw. Who doesn't like raw? Raw phone number. N U M B E R. And then here we click in and we'll go. Put a couple of spaces in there at the beginning, okay? Because people are always doing stupid stuff like that. We're going to say like a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then we take that, clean that up, and we're going to go clean phone number. And this is where we're going to use the trim, okay? Trim. Take a, take a good look at that. It removes white space from the start and end of the string. You have the option to do it only from the beginning and only from the end, by the way. You can use start like that. I can't even highlight it. And then it disappears. Jesus. You can use start and end. These are optional parameters, okay? I might show you them later on in the video. By the way, you'll see QR codes appearing on the screen. Uh, one QR code is if you want to buy me a coffee, I would appreciate it. And the other QR code is to join a my Telegram community. There's nearly 3,000 members on there, and they're all using Tosca in in various ways, shapes and forms, and everybody's pretty good, you know? If you've got AS1, AS2, you're welcome to join. And then you'll see, I mentioned a QR code. If you wanna buy me a coffee, appreciate it, right? Because you'll learn a lot in there. So anyway, getting back to this, trim, right? Uh, square bracket, and uh, go for curly. Move that out of your way. Don't forget to zoom in yourself, right? And we're gonna go raw phone number, phone number. Close the square, close the curly, Close the square, close the curly. And then what are we gonna do in here? Um, I suppose clean phone number again, right? And we wanna do, I'll just copy it, right? See the whole thing? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete that, right? Watch me delete it. Bum, 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 bum. Make, I'm, I'm manually tidying it up, okay? Cause this is where I wanna, I wanna do the verify. So, what are the chances it's going to work, right? F6. <laughs> You're as surprised as I am. I keep on saying that, huh? So there you can see all the spaces. Uh, you know, there's all the spaces. There they are removed. And I'm verifying that the number is correct. Okay. Uh, you could also do that using uh, beginning and end. But um, um, what would happen if we put on spaces on the end of that? Let's try it. You paying attention? Yeah, there's a lump of space, okay? Let's try that. It worked, right? It took away all the spaces. That worked perfectly, okay. Um, we could try uh, putting a start in there, just on the start, okay? We'll see what happens. I think we put it in there like that. I think this will not work, because no, it does surprise me. All right, okay. So it removed the spaces from the beginning, but it left ones on the end. Uh, surprisingly, the verification still worked. Why? Why would the verification work? Oh, it's looking for string values. It's ignoring spaces. Is that it? Ah, okay. So we could change that start to end. Okay. We look at that. And that worked as well. That's that's a little bit surprising. Um, so you got you, you got your spaces there at the beginning. You got your spaces there at the end, and then it's trimmed off the one on the. It left the one on the front. It took off the one on the the end. So it left one. At, it left it at the start. And even though it has all those spaces in it, the uh, the verify worked. That kind of surprises me. That really does. Um, this is supposed. This setup is supposed to allow you to clean up user input flexibly, making validation easier and more consistent across data fields. Uh, let me know if you need any further examples, um, and I need you to provide the example, not ask me to come up with more examples for you. Okay, um, enough's enough. All right, that's the end of this video. Take care. Bye bye.